Hey everyone, my name is Pulkat Mathur. I'm a field product manager in the application integration team at Google Cloud. Today we are going to talk about Agent Development Kit, which is ADK in short. ADK is a framework that was released at Google Cloud Next and helps you to build enterprise agents easily and quickly. It integrates very well with Google Cloud. However, it can also be used with all open source generative AI tools as well. It provides you a way to get started with simple agents along with the control required for the more complex ones. A key factor which makes agents built in ADK suited to enterprise needs is the integration of tools. Tools are basically building blocks which can be used a number of times in your agents to bring in the enterprise context from your enterprise applications making your agents ready for use within your company. There is a wide variety of tools you can use in ADK, such as function tools, MCP tools, OpenAI tools, etc. And one of the most interesting category is Google Cloud tools. This type of tools enable you to use your Google services within agents seamlessly. These Google services can be built, can be APIs, which have been built with APG, or could be one of our 150 plus connectors to enterprise applications like Salesforce, Workday, SAP, Jira, or legacy systems like AS400. Or they could be automation workflows, which run repeatable business workflows built with application integration. Or they could be services which are hosted in Google Cloud like MySQL. And in this video, we are going to show you how to create a tool using the automation workflow built with application integration. Let's take the example of an insurance firm. This insurance firm employs thousands of brokers who are responsible for generating insurances. Generating insurances is a very manual and repetitive task, which is prone to human faults and takes a lot of time. One of the tasks which takes a lot of manual labor is generation of codes. The brokers have to gather all of the information for the customer, like the risk score, existing insurance premiums, what kind of insurances they have, and input all of this data manually in a legacy system. To speed up the work of the brokers, we are going to create a workflow with application integration and use this as a tool within the agent that we are going to build with uh, ADK that is going to help brokers expedite this premium generation process. Now, this workflow for premium generation can be used within multiple departments within the company. So for example, there is a home insurance department, there is a risk insurance, there is a life insurance and so on. But there is this reusable process with a predetermined number of steps which is needed across every department. And this is the power of a workflow that can be built. So this workflow when used as a tool is going to expedite the development of uh, agents that are built for all of these departments within the company. So let's see how we can do that. So right now I'm in my Google Cloud uh, console. And the first step to building this is to build a workflow with uh, application integration. So I'm going to go to application integration and I'm going to go to my integrations. Now we have to build this workflow with multiple steps, which calls uh, REST API to get the code and then returns it to the caller. A very cool way to build it is using Gemini. So let's see how that works. If I click on create with Gemini here, I can just uh, write a prompt. Uh, Gemini is going to read this prompt and it is going to give me a workflow which fulfills what I need. So I have a copied prompt here, which I'm just going to put here. And basically this prompt is create a process to generate an insurance premium. The process takes three uh, inputs, candidate risk score, existing insurance amount, and the existing insurance type. The process then calls the insurance premium calculator at this particular URL and maps a response to an output variable called premium. So let's click generate and see what uh, Gemini throws up. 
so as you can see here is a comprehensive workflow which fulfills all of my requirements so it is uh, being triggered by an api rest call it does a rest call to get the premium uh, calculator it maps the response and returns it since i have this workflow already created i'm not going to create it again but i'm just going to show you how that looks like so this is my code generation workflow and this is being triggered by an api uh, and it calls this uh, url to get the premium and it maps the premium to the output variable which is premium. so this concludes the creation of our uh, integration and in the next step we are going to create a agent to use this as a tool before we go forward i also wanted to show you this amazing github repository which has been created with multiple uh, sample agents it is always a good idea to look at these agents and how they work beneath the hood before you before you get started with creating your own agent it can be cloned in your own cloud shell in your own gcp project and that is what we are going to do now so right now i'm in my cloud shell and i have cloned the repo that i just showed you which was the adk walkthrough and this is the same folder which i'm using to create my uh, agents as well one important step that has to be done before creating your own uh, agent is uh, open up this dot env file dot env dot example file copy it and rename it as dot env and fill in all the values which are provided here for example your project id the location uh, model you want to use and this flag be mindful that the new file which would be dot env has to be at the same level as this file itself so let's go forward with showing you the agent which i've built so the agent is basically going to help the brokers in the insurance company and it has three files first one is the uh, in a dot py file which is quite simple we are just importing an uh, an agent here secondly i'm going to show you the tools.py file this is a file where where we are going to provide uh, the workflow that we built previously as a tool there are a couple of values to be filled here as well for example the project name the location uh, integration name which was called the code generation workflow the api trigger whose value you can get also from the workflow itself the name of the tool and the instructions now this tool is ready to be used in an agent that we are going to build so finally we are going to go to our agent.py file which hosts your uh, agent and for example there are a couple of values that you have to provide here for example the model name you have to use the name of this uh, particular agent the description instruction for this agent and the tools that you want to use and this is the same tool the integration tool that we configured in the previous file as you can see here so now our agent is ready to use so let's uh, start to test to test this i'm going to fire up the adk web uh, application uh, which is going to provide me a ui so that i can test this uh, particular agent uh, very important is to run this uh, adk web command in the same level as the adk walkthrough folder so i'm just going to confirm that i'm at the right level and as i can see i i am at the adk walkthrough level itself where all all of my agents are there so i'm going to run adk web and this is going to basically fire up a ui app where i can test my agents so it is now running so let's go ahead and test now our adk web app is running so we are ready to test this agent uh, i can choose which one i want to run because they are all in the same folder at the same level and for the purpose of this video we want to test the insurance helper agent so let's start the conversation um, i'm going to give the instruction to calculate a premium code for a particular customer So the cool thing here is that we do not have to provide the inputs for the workflow in the code itself, which we 
just built the code can actually read what kind of uh, input values are required by the workflow it can read them pass them and it can show me what is the exact uh, details required here so i'm just going to provide the details required for example the customer risk score which is quite low the existing insurance premium let's say it is 120000 euros and the existing insurance which they have which is the home insurance and as you can see the workflow has been run and the premium code for this uh, customer has been determined to be 400 by the system that calculates the premium so this is a simple example of using a workflow um, a workflow can be very useful when you have some repetitive tasks or a business workflow to be done that is uh, that can be used by multiple agents that you build that you want to build across your entire company so i hope you found this video helpful thank you